Hey guys, and welcome back to another Factorio Workshop. As always, I'm here with Mad Zuri. Greetings. And today we have some awesome uh, bootstrap builds. All of these are made by Zuri. And uh, I saw, you know, a couple videos ago, people were commenting on, on exactly this, on, you know, bootstrap builds, because until now we've done really kind of late game builds. And Zuri has come up with uh, some really, really great, just kind of boot, well, bootstrap builds for multiple things here. And uh, I'm just going to let him go over these because these are all his designs that he's come up with. Uh, so I'll just let you take it away. Sure thing. One of the first things I usually build in pretty much all the bases after I get power and a little bit of iron and copper built up is one of these. And all it does is it's just a minor feeding and assembly machine with the stone furnaces in it. And it's incredibly useful. All you got to do is walk by, control click, and pick up a stack. And it'll work away as you're building something else. Yeah, extremely easy to put together. Over here is something you'd put on an iron patch. And all it does is slowly turn away on some belts so you don't have to handcraft them. Right. And, uh, I mean, this this thing is, is pretty good. You know, it's not working full tilt, but, you know, this, this has already built up 430 belts since we started putting these together, which has only been like 15 minutes. So, uh, definitely good here. Yeah, and the same thing for burner inserters for building your first power plant. Or if you like using burner inserters a lot, which I know some people do. Mm -hmm. Again, just a super simple build. This one's throttled down, though, to two stacks. Right, which, I mean, I think is plenty burner inserters. All right, next we have my... Uh, my oil build, like the first oil build I do, and sometimes I'll just leave this sitting around in the base somewhere. Mm -hmm. And it's limited to two stacks of plastic bars, just so that you have enough to do the blue science to get cracking our advanced oil. Right. And yeah, that's the entire purpose of this build is to get oil started enough to get you enough plastic to do the oil cracking. And hopefully after you've built this, you've, you've started building your blue science so you can hand feed it the plastic and then get that kick started. Exactly. And uh, this is one of my favorite out of these because it's, it's really great. You start building up, you know, a little bit of flame refuel, which, you know, who, who doesn't need that? And, uh, and then the plastic, yeah, so the blue science, um, it's for the red circuits, which just to break down the math for anyone who may be lost, uh, the red, cir red circuits take two plastic and you need 75 blue science. Each blue science takes a red circuit. So 75 times two is uh, 150. So just two stacks because you can't do like half a stack. Um, and then, yeah, you just throw this in, you get your advanced oil processing. And then that, this prevents you from having to like make, you know, a big setup just to get advanced oil processing which is really really nice yeah and you might want to leave this here and feed the circuit somewhere just so mm -hmm. you have a steady supply of the flamethrower ammo yeah that's a good point yeah you could just export this plastic somewhere consistently next i was asked to build a robo frame bootstrap so i decided to make it tileable as well yeah which is super super nice so you have this version one and by the way all these are in a blueprint book which will be linked in the description but if we open this up we have a one and a two this one Zuri standing in is number one and then number two is down here and uh, this is meant number two is meant pretty much solely to be tiled onto the first one because the first one contains you know the gear and uh, pipe production that it needs so I'm going to take number two and show you. So you line up these belts here and the pipe up top, you can see it fits in here perfectly like that. And everything is split down where it needs to go. And, and then you can just tile this and, and get things going. Yeah, we ran a test on it and we get the full 10 tiles working 100%. Yeah, which is, uh, we, we, I had my doubts a little bit on if the yellow belt could support enough circuits and steel, but I was proven wrong. We can do this all the way up to 10 tiles of this. And just really quick for anyone who's wondering, 
Um, 10 tiles is simply due to a pipe limit. If you look over on the far right, you'll see that um, this last machine is working 100%, but the pipe you know, just barely gets to it in time because it's perfectly ratioed. Anything past this, it does lack pipe. Um, so that's kind of the limitation here. If you wanted to tile this further, I imagine you could pretty easily add on another pipe factory in some fashion. Yeah, you might have to redo some of this because I used a very nifty trick with underground belts. Yeah, which I really, really like this because you not only use the trick for the underground belts, you also took advantage of inserter behavior in terms of where it likes to put things on the belt. Uh, so, so yeah, just you can see here that the underground, uh, essentially it cuts off like this inside lane, um, you know, quote unquote, hits the, uh, the kind of like flap or the entrance and then the outside lane does go through. So that's how we get gears on this side, it's side loading and then the inserter always exports, um, when it's facing this way, will always export onto the right hand side of a vertical belt like this, um, as you can see, which is a really, really neat trick. Also, the power poles are OCD friendly for this build as well. Oh yeah, I didn't I didn't really notice, but now that I look, they are very nice. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, this, like I said, the pipe, and this is just this is really kind of an oddly satisfying thing when you build the perfect ratios. Is you get this type of thing where the machines work a hundred percent, and but only because they get the materials exactly when they need it and this is what you know like the beauty of action of ratios and building the perfect ratios is you get things like like this but uh yeah i think that'll do it is there anything anything else you want to mention about these builds during no i think i covered a thing about these builds but if there's any other bootstrap builds that you guys would like to see leave it down in the comments and i'll get to them and we'll cover them eventually yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, anything you kind of struggle with setting up, uh, you know, I had mentioned we didn't get around to it this time, but I had mentioned like modules because, you know, sometimes it can be difficult to set up, you know, module production uh, when you only want a couple of them instead of just doing a huge build. So anything like that, um, you know, that you, you struggle with, definitely leave down in the comments and we will take notes and do, you know, one, maybe even multiple more videos in the future of stuff like this. But uh, I believe that'll do it for now. The blueprint book containing all these designs will be a uh, blueprint string. Blueprint string for it will be linked in the description, as always. And I believe that'll do it. Anything else to add? Nope. All right. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, feel free to leave a like. And until next time, we will catch you later. Later.